the economy is hurting and books seem to be the latest victim. With the popular bookstore Borders closing up shop at over 200 locations, what does this mean for the book industry? It shows me that even a large corporation uh, is having a tough time in the economy. So it makes me think even smaller independent stores like this one um, have a hard road ahead. But not all bookstores are worried. The store is really that worried. I think it was mostly their problem. I, I think they did not adjust to what a bookstore nowadays needs to happen or needs to do. So I don't think it worries us. I think it just worries Borders and their shareholders. But what led to the collapse of Borders? Some people blame sites like Amazon.com for stealing customers. James Dubeck, a former Borders employee, gave different reasons for the bookstore going bankrupt. It wasn't necessarily from Amazon, but it was from uh, like Walmart and Costco and other stores because those stores had started to sell books uh, from there and they were discounted. With such a major chain in trouble, independent bookstores must rely on other things to keep their business afloat. There are a lot of events that take place here that don't revolve just around books. Yes, there's book signings, there's film screenings. There's spoken word, there's live bands that come through here, and we're also attached to a cafe that has a really good name for itself. The presence of a bookstore seems to remain important to some. There used to be bookstores on every corner, libraries. I've noticed that a lot of libraries have closed down, so um, I just hope it's because it's technology advancement, not um, just the lack of importance on reading and literature. It's very important. But to others, books is useless. I'm Vincent Smith for News Vision.